My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This one's got me excited. This is an actual 1932 all steel Ford Vicky. The Vicky uh, Victoria is the two door sedan with the humpback uh, in the back. It's just a cool design. And this is all steel steel fenders, body, uh, 350 motor, automatic, air conditioned, four wheel disc brakes, has Corvette independent suspension up under the back of it. Just a cool, cool hot rod. I love the little 32 coupes. You get the fiberglass coupes. Uh, those come and go. A steel body 32 Vicky. I can't remember the last one we've had. So here's a pretty rare opportunity. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can read all the specs and study all the pictures top to bottom. And you will find price tags on every single car offered for sale on our website. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, underneath the car, it looks like it has a square tube frame, so it's all boxed in, has uh, square tube supports, it's all painted black. Uh, the floors look really good under the car, nice metal floors. Uh, up front, we've got a chrome suspension. It's a tubular drop axle, uh, chrome uh, shocks, chrome tubular trailing arms as the transverse leaf spring. Uh, in back, it is a Corvette independent rear end that's back there. A lot of chrome parts, the trailing arms, the axle shafts, a uh, bunch of the components are chrome uh, on the rear end of this car. Uh, it's got a nice exhaust system. I think it ends right about at the rear end. It has chrome tips, disc brakes at all four wheels, and their power. The power booster is also under the car. Uh, you look up at the motor. Pretty sure it's a Crate 350. It has the barcode tag still on the side of the oil pan. Uh, the motor's clean. Starter's clean. Uh, it's a turbo 350 automatic. As an external oil cooler. Uh, I believe they both have chrome uh, pans, the motor and the transmission. Uh, so underneath the car is real nice, real respectable. It's got a little chrome, a little bit of gloss paint, uh, so it's looking good. Uh, the body, again, steel. All four fenders are steel. Uh, it has a chopped top, you know, it would have been taller, and pretty certain they all had like a vinyl or cloth insert, it was to save money back then. This one's all metal, so I'm pretty sure they would have made that all metal. Uh, it still has the chrome windshield frame. It no longer cranks out because they chopped the car, but it does have the chrome frame, electric wiper. The body itself is really good. The thing's straight. I mean, it's not wavy. The workmanship in the body is great. I didn't find any rust or damage. The doors uh, fit nice and open and close nicely. Um, it's got the actual uh, rubber running board just like the originals. You can stand on them. You get a lot of these where they're painted. Uh, you can't touch them. You leave scratches in them and it will happen. Uh, but nice running boards. The paint job. Uh, obviously it's a really slick paint job. Standing here it's a mirror finish black. It's gorgeous. Uh, there are imperfections in the paint, especially right around this body line, right here in the, in the groove. Uh, the paint is lifting in places, like right there, but none here. That's all good. Like right here a little bit. So there are places like that. And then I noticed one bubble up in the roof here. So walking up on the car, people aren't going to notice that really. Uh, but it is there. I wanted to point it out. There's also... Uh, like a star, a rock must have hit from the bottom and left uh, like a spider web crack on the paint there. It is an older paint job. It's holding up well for its age. The true flames, or real flames, they call them, uh, were recently added. Someone out on the West Coast, that's where I bought the car. Apparently, he's a well-known artist out there. They call them real flames versus the old school ones because this actually looks like real fire. 
I love the stance that the car has. Look how it's sitting low in front. I mean, that bumper is maybe six inches off the ground. Uh, and I love the classic features that this has. The big headlights, not little ones, big headlights as the Ford script, glass lenses. It has the bumpers front and back with chrome brackets and everything. Uh, I already mentioned the running boards, has door handles instead of the remote poppers. I like the original having door handles. Real tiny, you might not have noticed them, turn signal indicators. They are tiny, they work, they're, they're small, but they are there. Uh, in back, it has the original style tail lights, but they're LEDs and they light up real bright. Turn signals are built right in, of course. Uh, all smoked glass, not as stick on tint, but smoked glass. Power windows. Now, let's say a billet gas cap. That is your gas cap right here, just like you know the original would have come. And this is that humpback that I'm talking about. Gives the roof line just a nice, nice look. They didn't make a lot of these. You know, regular sedans, coupes, but the Victoria, uh, not too many. Nice uh, polished aluminum wheels. They're 15 inch. Cumho tires front and back. They're a matched set of tires, although they're much different size, much fatter in the back. And they look new. I didn't check dates or anything, but they're a really uh, good looking set of tires. So there you have the outside. Let's open it up and check out inside. All right, there is no trunk, so we're gonna go straight to the interior. Uh, this is all leather. So it's, it's timeless. It's not that tweed that really dates it. Um, done real nice. Uh, seats are done to match. The same pattern, the same gray leather. Uh, the seats have a little bit more uh, use on them. So it's got that nice, I don't call it worn in look, but you know how your favorite leather jacket is just nice and worn in, nice and soft. Uh, so we got leather bucket seats, leather door panels done to match. The welting. Uh, around the doors up here. It's all done in the same gray leather. Uh, while we're up here, you do have an electric wiper, got a nice little mirror, a cloth headliner with a stereo, has an auxiliary, a CD player, has got a couple speakers down low. Now the instrument panel, this is all wrapped in black leather. It has a nice machine turned instrument panel with a matched set of Stuart Warner gauges. Nice, nice looking set of gauges. And notice there's no knobs and vents. It's all neatly installed down below the dash. You have your controls for the air, your ignition, and then you got a couple nice pedals. And down on the floor, this is your power window switches. Uh, I haven't seen them done like that before, but those are your power windows. Carpet's in good shape. Got a couple of interior lights down here in front of each seat. They work when you open the door. Uh, tilt column uh, has the shift indicator. Nice four-spoke uh, old-school style steering wheel. I'm six foot tall. I fit in the car very comfortably. The positioning of the pedals and the steering wheel uh, I felt was all real good. Now to get in the back seat, there'd be a lever on the other side, which I've already released. Uh, these flip forward and they incline in back. Again, this is all leather. This has hardly been sat in, so it doesn't have any of the creases. But it's all done nice and it's all tight fitting. It's not loose or coming apart in the corners. Uh, really well done interior. And there are seat belts under the front seats uh, for the, the front passengers anyway. Now under the hood, yeah, check out those true flames. They really give it some pop. Now we've got a 350 crate motor under here. It's probably about 300 horsepower or so. Uh, you look down at it, it's all polished parts. Uh, the intake is a Pro Comp polished intake. Uh, it has a nice Edelbrock carburetor. And then of course, uh, it's a dual snorkel Polished uh, Holly air cleaner. Valve covers are polished. And then it's running, uh, looks like an MSD ignition system. It has a set of coated headers. And then the air conditioning is also a polished compressor with stainless braided hoses. Uh, polished dryer over there on the firewall. And uh, we got a chrome alternator. 
The radiator is this big electric fan. Uh, the radiator has been replaced, I'm sure. Uh, also an aluminum overflow bottle. Uh, now that I'm in here looking, I don't see it has heat. I believe it's just air conditioning. I don't see any heater hoses. Uh, air is a lot of work to add. Heat is not difficult to add if you really felt you needed it. Yeah, I literally can fix my hair in the reflection. It's like a mirror, so it's a shame it has those few problem spots. But again, uh, people are going to appreciate the car as a whole. This is a car you get in and drive. You're not paying $80,000 for it. It's a lot of car for the money, especially being steel body. You don't find those. They command a premium. So if it catches your eye, don't wait because... We're not going to get another one of these on our website till God only knows when. Go to volocars.com. I gave you my impression of this car, but there's plenty of ways to talk to the salespeople on there. Uh, they can also help uh, get this delivered. They can get it financed for you. That's at volocars.com. They'll answer their questions the best they can. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe. Click on that bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.